Let's look at balancing this equation. This one's a little more complicated. When we look, we don't see any elements that are by themselves anywhere. Everything's a compound. Another thing we should look for is elements that um, are elements like um, hydrogen that is in more than one place on each side. It's in two places before and one place after. That means it depends on three different coefficients, and that makes it hard to balance. You might want to dive in and try to do that one first, but it's really a lot easier if you save it for last. Okay, so let's look at what else we could balance. Um, let's just go ahead and start with chlorine. Remember, we're only changing the numbers in the front, so those numbers that go here. So chlorine, there's one chlorine before and two chlorines after. So I can add a two here, and chlorine is balanced. Now that just affected hydrogen, but we're saving hydrogen for last as much as possible. So let's check. Magnesium is balanced, one before and one after. Let's check oxygen next. There are, mm, this is tricky, how many oxygens here? There are two hydroxides here, but each one has two oxygen, or has one oxygen. So this is two times one. There are two oxygens here. There is only one oxygen here. So we'll put a two in front here. Now there's two oxygens and two oxygens after. So oxygen is balanced. Well, now we better check our hydrogen. We have a total of four hydrogen atoms here because we say two times two. It's four hydrogens after. Before, we have two here and two there. So that's a total of four hydrogens before and four hydrogens after. So balance, hydrogen just balanced out by itself without us having to do anything. These other coefficients ended up being one. 